Welcome back to Saving Throw. We're on the home stretch now and we've saved the best for last. You've survived the main course and now it's time for dessert. Today, we're gonna talk about... <laughs> <laughs> No, my angel, my dead angel. Today, we learn about combat. <laughs> to the combat simulation station. Is this heaven? No, it's Van Nuys. Oh, it smells like pee. Definitely Van Nuys. All right, so you've seen a little fight demonstration, and luckily for you, you won't need any real-life weapons training to play Pathfinder. The only physical skills you'll need is the ability to cup your hand and rotate your wrist. <laughs> like most of Pathfinder, the combat mechanics use the D20 system. Combat works like this. The GM determines a goal called the armor class. Then that player rolls a D20 and adds attack modifiers. If the roll is higher than the target, the attack is successful and you roll another die to determine damage. Now if it's lower, the attack fails and nothing happens. Those are the basics. If you understand those core principles, you'll be able to handle yourself in a typical combat situation. Now, of course, there are many other variables, rules, and options for combat, like initiative, combat maneuvers, surprise, combat actions, attack of opportunities, etc., etc. This is why a large combat, which typically takes no more than two minutes in-game, can sometimes take up to an hour of real-time playing to resolve. But fear not, we are here to guide you through the process. We'll discuss the basics of the combat in episode, and then we'll teach you some more of the advanced rules in the next episode. You'll be murdering goblins like a pro in no time. Unfortunately, we're not weapons masters, so we can't show you how this stuff works. Luckily, this is Los Angeles, and you can't throw a dagger without hitting a stuntman trained in martial combat. In fact... Daggers. My butthole. You merciful gods. Is this Elysium? No, this yes, is... Yes, yes, yes. This is Elysium. Nice job. You made it to Elysium. Crafty is uh, over there against the wall. And here is a bottle of water. Merciful gods. Thank you. Can I have one? No. Oh. Now, inevitably, your characters are going to fight something or someone at some point. As in real life, every fight starts off with a disagreement of some kind. You should stop existing. I think it is you that should stop existing. Let's fight. Step one, initiative. The initiative roll is a dexterity check that determines when you act in a round. Add your dex modifier to the roll, as well as any other bonuses from feats, spells, or special abilities. So let's have you guys roll off for these two guys. Amy, you take Beard Man. Ben, you get the little guy. Nuts. No, sorry, I'm sure you'll be good. Uh, what are the modifiers? Let's say everything's vanilla. Two regular guys with long swords. Both have a base armor class of 10 and all of their ability scores are 10, so there's no modifiers to anything. But look at my guy's armor, he's badass! I know, I know, but let's just keep things simple for now. So let's say that his armor is just a fancy shirt or something. Good? <sighs> Fine. All right, good. Roll initiative. Five. Nine. Good, now remember these rolls because they will be your initiative for the duration of this combat. Amy, you're up first. Attack! Death to the little guy! Uh, 14. All right, so you both have a base armor class of 10. 14 is more than 10, so that's a hit. Ha! Suck it! Now the amount of damage you do is unique to each weapon and can be found on pages 142 and 143 of the rulebook. A long sword does 1d8 damage. Uh, two. Crap. It's a glancing blow. Now, it's your turn, Ben. I attack that asshole. Okay, maybe try it again without the potty mouth. Okay, I attack that poo-poo bottom man. <clears throat> Basically, I think he's a man with uh, poop stuck on his bottom, and consequently his whole body smells like poop, which is very undesirable. 
better? Sure, I guess. Roll it. Nineteen! It's a hit. In fact, it could be a critical hit. That longsword has a critical value of 19 or a 20. So when you roll those numbers, you might score a critical hit. Yep. In order to actually score a critical hit, you have to confirm it by rolling a second time. Yep. The second attack is a standard attack roll. That means you need to roll a 10 or higher. Roll it. 15. That hits, right? Yep. In fact, the critical hit has been achieved. A critical hit with a longsword means you roll twice as much damage, adding your modifiers each time. Four plus two. Six points. You strike a mighty blow. Your blade tears through flesh, muscle, and bone, staggering him. All right, Amy, you're up. How many hit points do we have? Uh, you each start with ten. Ben, your guy has eight hit points left. Amy, your guy has four. Got it. I attack. Again. Roll it. Uh, six. Miss. Let's finish this. Crap, one. Sorry, my friend. You miss. Is that some kind of critical miss or something? Technically, no. Pathfinder doesn't really have official rules for rolling a one in combat. However, a lot of GMs do use house rules for a roll of one that does add flavor to the combat. So really, it's up to the GM. So, uh, do you have those rules? Yes, I do. You miss and your sword flies out of your hand. It lands five feet away. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! Can I go get my weapon? Uh, you can, but not now. What? Why? Because you're not ready yet. Your unarmed character is going to move out of combat, which will provoke an attack of opportunity. Plus, you've already taken your standard action. You'd have to take another five-foot step and pick up an item as a move action. Damn you! I don't know what those words mean! Exactly. So we're going to stop here. Next episode, we'll pick up where we left off, and I will finish off your sniveling weakling of a character. Hey! It's just role playing, guys. Thank you both for helping us out for free. Wait, wait. We're, we're not getting paid. We can give you copy and credit? What do you think we are? Actors? Dom? <laughs> I did not think that was going to work. Anything is possible with the magic of imagination. Neat. Are uh, we done here? Yep. Great. So join us next time to see the conclusion of this epic battle. We will be covering more advanced combat rules and maneuvers. If you liked what you saw in this video, like, comment, and subscribe. So join us next time. Until then, I'm Amy. I'm also Amy. And I'm not Amy, but I might be. Uh, we are Saving Throw and... Let's Dungeon!